Hi everyone, Stock Mo here. Today's video is for entertainment purposes only, and it's a late start. I was up at the Penn State game and having a good time, enjoying that, and boy, I'm happy to see all the sports back. I hope all DraftKings and some of the other stocks out there. But I'm gonna be going over the best altcoins to buy now, taking a look at the, per the weekly action so far, and are we moving to a new high, like a lot of people are predicting by the end of this year, or are we going to collapse? I'm gonna give you my opinion on that, and we'll see which altcoin out there has performed the best and made the most money or lost the most money. Before we get into it, of course, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button down below. Take advantage of the offer here. This is one of the best offers I've ever seen. Down below, right below the video, there's a link to Moomoo. They're giving you a free share of Lucid for putting $100 or more in. And I got this, you can see right here. All you gotta do, like I said, between, uh, I think it's a little, little under two weeks here, put one deposit of $100 or more in. And if you got kids that are 18 or more older, your spouse, you can all sign up for your own accounts using the link down below put $100 or more and get a free share of Lucid as well as take a look at this you will also get a free share between three and 350 and if you put two grand or more in you also get an additional share of GM which is over 50 bucks so all kinds of opportunities there and of course I do have the links down below to BlockFi and Coinbase BlockFi giving you up to 250 in free Bitcoin for depositing plus the interest on your crypto plus the credit card giving you Bitcoin rewards Oh, I love it. And Coinbase, where I'm staking over $100,000 worth of Ethereum, they're giving you a free Bitcoin, free, just for signing up, your ID and email verification. Take advantage of those. Now, as we get into it today, let's take a look at the Bitcoin price. And you will see over the last week, it's actually up 3.29. I like to do this on Sundays. Take a look at the weekly action, see which coins have made us money. Are things trending higher or are we trending lower? And for the most case here, you know, Bitcoin's up, you would think everything would be up since Bitcoin's been up the last seven days, but that is not the case. So you have Bitcoin up 3.29% and Ethereum's actually dropped 2.38%, which is very interesting. Uh, I do think that as we move forward though, I, I'll say it again, I'm pretty confident that we're gonna see Ethereum have a good burst up before the end of the year. And uh, we've been trading sideways for a while, and we're going to take a look at that as well. But I would expect us to see this at 4,400 or higher. And I know a lot of people out there have this a lot higher by the end of the year. And I hope I'm doing a video that says, hey, I was wrong on Ethereum. And it hits 7,000, 8,000. Some people even call in 10,000. I, I don't see that happening. Like I said, I thought 4,400 would be, I'd be ecstatic to see it at 4,400 or higher. And of course, I know uh, it could burst higher. I remember back in 2018 when we seen some of the altcoins out there double in under 30 days. Uh, I think that was Bitcoin as well, uh, in under 30 days to end it. And I, we'll see. Now, here's the big surprise. You know, we had Cardano on September 12th. And September 12th, I had the smart contracts come live. They had the upgrade. And, and uh, since then, though, and that's a week ago, it's down 12.44%. It has absolutely gotten crushed compared to Ethereum and Bitcoin. It's one of them opportunities where you see the sell the news kind of event. You see everything coming out so positive. Everything's good. Everybody kind of, you would think it would lead up to a, a couple of few green days moving into that. And then as the news comes out and it's like, okay, now they can do it, and people kind of sell off. And we're seeing that yet again. Now it's been kind of flat after the 13th on, but that big drop right there really took a hit on it. And then of course, the other one I like, this is the next of the best altcoins to buy now. When I talk about these, to, you know, they always say, hey, what, what crypto is you interested in? What's the best cryptocurrency to invest in for 2021 or even going into 2022? I think Solana is definitely up there. It has dropped down over the last week. It had that big run, 11.65. I'm gonna go over the monthly charts as well just to show you what I'm talking about. But this thing has been on fire, but it followed in Cardano steps, dropping a little bit there. And uh, you know, so we'll see. Polkadot's another one when it comes to the best crypto to buy now. This is another one I absolutely love. I think this is a good one. Uh, you can read about this down here. I leave this down here for people who are wondering what it's all about, so I was wasting your time. I will show you that. So Polkadot down 1.91%, actually outperforming Ethereum, underperforming Bitcoin. It's rare that we go into this and we still haven't had one outperforming Bitcoin. Usually out of the altcoins I throw up here, uh, a lot of them will actually do better than Bitcoin. And then of course, Uniswap there, you know, 0.30. Uniswap's one I really like. And uh, I'm actually looking at adding some more Uniswap on 
for those wondering, I do use Coinbase, which I do have the link down below. I sign up for the account, take advantage of the free Bitcoin, but I use Coinbase Pro. It has some of the cheapest rates out there. Transfer, uh, transfer my uh, my crypto over, my Ethereum over to stake. Anything is stakeable. You can stake it on Coinbase. Uh, you got to see what they have available though. And as we move into it, chain link following the thing down 4.60%. This is not a fun weekly update for me when you see this, a lot of red now. I do have Bitcoin, but most of my money is in Ethereum. I do have a good chunk of Bitcoin from uh, last year, but I would rather see Ethereum do its thing. And then we have Dogecoin here down 3.62% for the week, following along with everything else. I'm hoping to see Dogecoin have a nice little pop up. We'll see. Uh, it, we'll see as it moves forward. Now, when we take a look at the monthly charts, though, Bitcoin, everything's kind of sideways. You can see this. We run up, run back down, run in kind of. It's in this channel right now at 47,000 as we go through. And this is where you start to see Ethereum start to outperform. When we get into the longer run of things, you start to see Ethereum, why I like it so much, how it is outperformed. It's still trending up. Uh, take a look at the year. You can see, see the regression line if you did one. It would be nice and uh, trending higher, but a lot of ups and downs. Same thing with Bitcoin over the last year, 332%, 754%. I think Ethereum will do its thing here as we move forward. More and more money moving into it. And I like where we're going with this. Now, take a look at Cardano over the last month, 11.10. And we can take a look at the year. Obviously, nice gains over that last year. And this is what I wanted to show you about Solana. Uh, the Solana price prediction, I think this thing will have another run up here before the end of the year. But it's up 119% over the last month. Take a look at the year. Uh, up 299%. You can see it is a rather new one. Polka dot over the last month, up 35%. Over the last year, 533%. Can you believe these gains in crypto? It's, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, so the best cryptocurrency to invest in 2021, I think Uniswap will definitely have a place at the table there. Down 9% over the last month, but over the last year, up 672%. So a lot of people wonder, why is it down? It had such a big run that a lot of profit taking still is being done, and that can take a while to get through. Chainlink, now we got this over the last month. It is up 9.33%, nothing crazy, 152%. I think Chainlink is one of the better altcoins to buy now. And then we have Dogecoin here at 22% down for the month, has been rough on it. Uh, take a look at the year though, it is up 8,292% or 99%, nothing beats that there. So that would win the best altcoin to buy now. If we were back at the beginning of the year, back at the beginning 12 months ago, but we're not. So unfortunately, this is it. So what we're looking at is a lot of opportunity out there. People ask me, where do you see this market going? What do you what do you expect? And a lot of it drives around. Uh, if you look at this, uh, we can just say, you can see how we had that big sell off back there. And as we came out, it's been recovering nicely. I still think there's some issues out there that they're, they're dealing with in the overall economy, the governments, everything. And that's gonna have a direct impact on these cryptos. And so I am watching it. The big one, of course, I'm watching is Ethereum. You take a look at this year chart. It's actually not bad at all. I'm dollar cost averaging into Ethereum. I, I will be continuing to buy some more Ethereum tomorrow and taking advantage of it. I feel very good about Ethereum for the long run. And I think you're going to see some uh, good movement upward as we get into Q4. Right now, I'm waiting to see what happens with DC. I think a lot of that's going to have an effect on uh, the Ethereum price prediction. But at the end of the day, I still feel very bullish about the altcoins I just talked about. They are the best altcoins to buy now. Of course, Bitcoin is doing its thing. You know, being legal tender down in El Salvador was a big step forward. I do think other countries are going to move that way as well into the future. Now, it might not happen this year. It might mean be a few years down the road, but I think that was a good step to see. And once they do it, a lot of other countries out there will watch and see how that works for them. And that might be something you might see uh, other countries moving towards. And that's going to be big. And of course, we have the ETS for Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum. I think in the United States, Bitcoin will get the ETF first. And I'm hoping to see that in 2022. Uh, and then I think Ethereum will very quickly 
file after that. Uh, and that's going to be something I think could make Ethereum double in price by itself as a catalyst. So I'm excited about that. Now, if you haven't done it yet, take advantage of getting that free Lucid share of stock. Like I said, you can hit the Moo Moo link. You're getting 20% on your money like that. And it's actually over that. It's going to be closer to 25 with a chance of a lot more. You put a deposit $100 through the link down below. You get a free share of Lucid stock. You're going to get a uh, another free share between three and 350. And if you get to 350, that's 300. $70 for free just for putting hundred dollars in there and they have a contest starting on the 20th of September that you can win 24 free shares of NVIDIA just doing an investing challenge and seeing who's the best investor out there and you can have a lot of fun with that and that's free and of course you deposit 2,000 or more and you get that free share of GM on top of all that other stuff and I do have the links down below for Coinbase Coinbase giving you free Bitcoin for signing up you don't even have to deposit you put in your email and ID verification they have lessons where you get free crypto I absolutely love it and then of course BlockFi down below as well. They're giving you up to 250 in free Bitcoin. They are giving you the credit card opportunity where you can uh, get 3.5% back for 90 days plus, and that's in Bitcoin. You can leave it in there. You can let that thing just go and uh, get the interest on that and compound. That's what I'm doing. And then of course, come over and join me at the Patreon. If you want to hear everything we're talking about, and of course my portfolios, the private discord, thousands of members, come on over, check it out. We're having a good time. Starting a new portfolio very soon as well. It's going to be an exciting time and so that's what I got for you today I'm going to come back with another video here shortly tonight and uh, go over some stocks so I appreciate you stopping by let's get out there and make some money